Larry and Joetta Lewis were solidly rooted in their Protestant upbringing. Larry's father had been an Assembly of God pastor who instilled his family with the love of Jesus and guided them in their beliefs. Larry himself had been a minister of several congregations in denominations ranging from United Methodist to Southern Baptist. He had always considered his theology to be a journey toward uncovering the complex mysteries of Scripture. My parents raised me to uh, have a deep and abiding love for Christ and a tremendous love for the Scriptures. My theology was much like a large puzzle with every other piece missing. So you were constantly trying to make those pieces fit. And so if you can imagine, you know, putting a puzzle together and how you'll, sometimes you'll hold up a piece that doesn't seem to go any place and the only thing you can look at is the shape. And so you're trying to, to match uh, uh, the shape. Well, this was very similar to how I was working out my theology. We had great heights of ecstasy and deep valleys of despair. Um, because being Catholic is not what either one of us had ever considered uh, or ever thought we would be or ever would want to be. And we were not unhappy. We loved our church. We loved our people. Larry loved pastoring and, and preaching. So this was not something that we were uh, looking into because we were dissatisfied with where we were. It came as a complete surprise. For Larry and Joetta, their search was leading them in a way that neither of them would have ever imagined. But there was a very real fear that they were perhaps going too far, that they were turning their backs on Jesus by praying to Mary, that their search was, in fact, wrong. They made the decision to investigate further and deeper, looking for spiritual confirmation of their newfound love for the Blessed Mother and Catholic tradition. It was a Catholic priest who gave them their new insight into the role of Mary in the church. He said, let me ask you a couple of questions. Uh, he said, do you love your wife? And uh, he knew the answer to that question. <laughs> and I said, yes, Father, you, uh, you know that I love Joetta very much. And he said, have you ever said something to her along these lines, uh, Joetta, I love you with all of my heart, all that I have and all that I uh, ever will have uh, belongs to you. And I said, yes, Father, I've said those, those words. Or perhaps you've said uh, something to the effect of, you know, I worship the ground she walks on. And I said, yes, I've, I've said something to that effect. Or that, Joetta, uh, that I adore you. And I said, yes, Father, I've, I've said those things because that's the way I feel. He said, well, Larry, that's, that's the way we feel about the Blessed Mother. We love her so much because of the gift that she's given to us, the most precious gift that the world could ever, ever be offered. She's given, given us Jesus. And in this beautiful act of surrender on her part, she offered to us eternal life so that through faith in Him, we might be united with the Father, no longer be estranged, but be one with Him through Christ. And because of our great love and affection for her, we often speak of her using the language of love. And yet, he said, you've said some things about Joetta that we would never even say about the Blessed Mother, for we don't worship her, we don't adore her, all worship and adoration belong to God alone. But because we love her so much, because we see her as our mother, we know that we can entrust our lives to her, our bodies, even our souls, into her arms and knowing that she will take us deep into the heart of Jesus. Well, <laughs> I was hooked. <laughs> I knew I had uh, never thought of this before, never even considered uh, this kind of love and devotion. At first, fearful of the images and traditions that he had grown to disdain, Larry began a meticulous study of Scripture, looking for any sign that Catholic traditions had, in fact, distorted the Word of God. We would go into the Catholic bookstore uh, sometimes three and four times a day. Uh, Lee would, we'd walk in and Lee would say, uh, have you uh, read this book or do you know anything about this book? I'd say, well, take it. He said, well, uh, this is a good book too. I said, well, take that one. 
And he might say, well, don't you want to know something about it? And I'd say, it doesn't matter. If it's about the Catholic Church, then we, then we want it. And we found this out much later, but within the first year, we spent on books and tapes over $5,000. We couldn't get enough. We were reading everything that we could possibly get our hands on. The Catechism was the greatest systematic theology that I had ever read in my life, and I have read several. Mm -hmm. And this was beginning to bring these missing pieces uh, uh, into play. It was like this puzzle the, that we talked about earlier, that the pieces were just falling into place with, li uh, in, with lightning speed. We were beginning to discover things that we had never even considered before, and, and we would uh, uh, compare a scripture and what the early church fathers were saying and what the catechism was saying. And in, in areas that uh, were, are so familiar to Catholics, but so unfamiliar to me as a Protestant minister, uh, we were find, finding the richness of the church and the depth of the church. It was a a absolutely mind-boggling. It was, it was so exciting. The real impl implications of what we were finding uh, to be true is that if truth is a person, and Jesus said, I am the truth, then when he said, follow me, he said, follow the truth. And what we were seeing in the catechism and uh, the books that we had been reading, uh, the early church fathers, what we were seeing that the Catholic faith was so substantial, was so scripturally grounded, was so uh, beautifully expressed in the lives of the early church and uh, in later writings of the fathers, that this seemed to be a truth that was more striking, uh, more revealing, a fuller truth than anything that we had been exposed to up to this point. Scripture tells us that as Jesus stood before 